Hey everyone, I did a newsletter back in 2009 and if uh, if you want to get access to the newsletters you can just either click this link right here or go to the old, new or you know, or even subscribe to the newsletters. But I did one back in 2009 uh, where I share certain statements from the Pope uh, wherein he states that if you speak out against the Vatican you were considered to be a terrorist and at that time it was Ratzinger or Pope Benedict the 16th that was making the claims. And uh, seeing how that statement didn't have much effect on the general population, a series of attacks on religious freedom was needed to make it possible to protect the false religion of Roman Catholicism. Now, I'm not trying to offend any Roman Catholics. It's just that if you actually use your Bible to verify your doctrines, you'll find that it's not biblical. 86, over 86% 86 of your church's doctrine is not found in Scripture. That being said... Have you been following the videos I post recently? And I'm, of course, speaking in a general term to those watching. Or, or better yet, have you been studying prophecy? And if so, are you like most students of prophecy that know the Pope being the self-appointed moral authority on earth since uh, September of 2009? And yeah, I got a newsletter about that too. In this newsletter, I show how the Vatican was eventually going to declare that any speech insulting other religions was going to have to become illegal if peace was ever to be realized. And yes, that false agenda was prophesied by the prophet Daniel long ago. That being said, check out this article that just came out today. Look at the headline. Pretty obvious here that he's declaring limits to freedom of expression when it comes to religion. Uh, but if you scroll down a little bit in this article, you'll see something pretty interesting. Uh, first off, I want to share this paragraph where he says, and this is the Pope talking. He says, if my good friend Dr. Gaspari says a curse word against my mother, he can expect a punch. Okay, now this man claims to be the moral authority on earth. He claims to be the one that follows the Bible perfectly. He's supposed to be the leader of the Christian faith globally, yet He's going to punch some guy that speaks out against his mother. Is it not written in Luke 3.14 that we should do violence to no man? But anyway, scrolling down a little bit further in this article, you'll see something else that's pretty interesting here. It's in this section here. It says, Francis insisted that it was an aberration to kill in the name of God and said religion can never be used to justify violence. And this, of course, is coming from a man who's Papal predecessors killed over 500 million Christians because they refused to become Roman Catholic. Okay, but going on it says, but he said there was a limit to free speech when it concerned offending someone's religious beliefs. There are so many people who speak badly about religions or other religions who make fun of them, who make a game out of the religions of others. He said they are provocateurs. And what happens to them is what would happen to Dr. Gaspari if he says a curse word against my mother. There is a limit. So there you have it. You know what most people miss here, though? Besides the fact that the Pope is actually advocating violence against anybody that speaks out against his mother or his faith or anybody else's faith, that magazine that insults Mohammed also insulted Jesus Christ. Many times, as far as I could see, they insulted Jesus far more than they insulted Muhammad. That being the case, now do you see why the Vatican authored religion of Islam was invented by the prelates of Rome hundreds of years ago? I mean, historic fact is, every single forefather of every denomination on earth have declared the popes of Rome to be the Antichrist. And if you want proof of that, just go to revenagod.org, go to the prophecy section, go to the Antichrist, and go down to they called him Antichrist. I got them all listed right here. They're all there talking about the papacy being the man of sin, the little horn, the Antichrist, and so on and so forth. So, seeing how this is a well-known historic and modern-day fact, which, by the way, was also prophesied to happen in our day, it is also a well-known fact that only the Roman Catholic Pope looks to benefit by limiting free speech because they are the only ones that all throughout human history have been exposed as antichrist on earth by every single church leader of every denomination. But we also know 
The Veda cannot just go out there and demand everybody shut up about them and about their evil ways. Yes, they did somehow figure out a way to gag all the U.S. judges and all the courts when their molestation scandal was being dealt with in America recently, but on a global basis, no. They can't just go out there and tell everybody to shut up as it would cause all sorts of public relation nightmares for the Pope and his long prophesied agenda. And so, hundreds of years ago, when they saw they had a major uphill climb ahead of them because it was then that these men were out there proclaiming that the Pope was Antichrist that are listed on this page. He saw this uphill climb ahead of him, and so they had to figure out a way to make insulting their religion illegal. And yes, Rome has always worked two, three, sometimes 500 years in advance of their agendas, their political agendas. So they invented Islam as we have confirmed on many levels with all sorts of documented evidence. And then this bloodthirsty new religion would have to be allowed by all nations in the Club of Rome to go forth and kill people all over the world in the name of their evil religion so as to let it get so out of hand that eventually everyone would agree that free speech laws would have to be rewritten so as to make it illegal to speak out against anyone's faith or lack thereof. That way... Rome can then make exposing them illegal as well. The prophet Daniel did say this evil church would be very crafty in their methods. And so they are. But a loud cry is still going to happen. The man of sin has already been revealed. So we're still going to go out there and do the work. They'll try and stop us in some areas, but they're not going to be able to stop it globally. Because Jesus Christ is behind this agenda. Thank you for watching. God bless.